I cannot stress this enough. It will save you so much time. I recommend having a diaper caddy. Insurance can cover a breast pump. Breast pumps are expensive, okay? What's up YouTube? It's your girl Anonymous and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys all the newborn essentials that you need. Now, I currently do have a toddler, so this video was like well overdue and I'm so sorry that I forgot to post it for you guys. But I'm actually going to be showing you everything you need for your newborn. Not just unnecessary things because I know we can get a little overwhelmed and just start buying anything. These are going to be the things that you actually absolutely need. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned and keep on watching. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you that you actually need is a diaper caddy. Mine is actually pink. And once again, I actually have all these items on my Amazon storefront. So I'll have everything linked below in the description box. But I definitely recommend having a diaper caddy. And a diaper caddy is just very, very helpful for when you don't actually want to have to go different places trying to find different things. So for instance, in my diaper caddy, I actually put like her diapers, things that she'll absolutely need, her wipes, any like medicines or anything like that, like maybe like ibuprofen or just anything that a newborn would need. Also like the nose sucker. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, since I was also breastfeeding, I did have like my nipple cream and everything that I needed for breastfeeding. So also if you're breastfeeding, I recommend putting like your essential things in there as well, just because it's gonna be a hassle just try to find it around the house when you really need to like pump on demand or either feed your baby on demand. The second thing that I have for you guys is a sound machine. Now for the sound machine, I actually think it's really, really helpful, especially like for me, I would say like I really used it in the car just because like my baby hated the car. Like literally, like as soon as we get in the car, it's just like straight up screaming, crying, like just a hot mess. But I recommend the sound machine also like for sleeping. Like so if you're in the house and you're wanting your child to take a nap or it's just time for her to go to bed, I recommend playing the sound machine. They actually have different sounds too. So it's like rain. And then just like the regular lullaby song. So it's really, really helpful. Um, also, there's another sound machine. I'll actually like put it here in the video. But I didn't get that one just because I didn't want my baby to actually depend on a sound machine. But I definitely recommend a sound machine just for those times where you want to get your baby in a deep, deep sleep. Or just to get her in the mood to take a nap. The diapers and the wipes that I recommend because like this is something that everybody has their own opinion about but when it comes to me like i want a diaper that can at least soak up a good amount of pee or just like not just overfill and then like get to the point to where it's actually leaking out the diaper so the diapers that i recommend is millie moon okay these diapers are top tier i'm actually about to grab it just so that you guys can see so this is the diaper here it says millie moon you guys can see it there and these are like really, really thick. Like baby pee and poop isn't going anywhere. It's like literally not going to leak out at all. Like just look at it. Like if, I don't know if you guys can like really see the texture of it, but it's really thick. And also their wipes are really, really good because it's like for sensitive babies. My daughter has sensitive skin just like me. So this was really, really helpful for her too. These are the wipes right here. And the wipes are actually like, they're like kind of thick. So they're good quality too. And also they're really, really affordable. Like I really recommend only downfall to that brand is that they only sell it at Target. And also I think you can get it online, but that's just doing too much. So just go to your local Target. The next thing that I recommend is a bottle warmer. This is the one that I have. I actually got it off Amazon. Somebody actually got me a bottle warmer at my baby shower. But I really like this one instead. And I got it off Amazon. I'm going to link this down below as well in the description box. But this bottle warmer heats up in literally like three seconds. And for the moms that know, we do not have time, okay? We just literally do not have time. Like we need to get that milk warm on demand quick, fast, and in a hurry. And once again, like I said, I did breastfeed, so I would use this like if I had my breast milk frozen and I put it in the bottle and then I would heat it up. I don't actually recommend using the microwave just because of the radiation. So this bottle warmer is really, really good. It heats up 
very quick like i said i'm going to have the link in the description box i got it off of amazon and also it's really really cheap and affordable so like i definitely recommend okay so when it comes to feeding feeding the baby i could honestly say that i went through a lot of different bottle brands just because like I had to find the right one that was for her and then everybody says every baby's not gonna take the same bottle which is absolutely true so I went through all the bottles and the one that I found that was best for me was the Philips Avon bottle this bottle here is like really really good also um, the nipples they have sizes on them so like for this for instance this one has like four on it I don't know if you can see but this one has four so four it means like the flow is really really fast so you want to start out with a newborn nipple which is a zero and then go up one two three four when your child gets older of course i definitely recommend these bottles when they drop they do not leak you can put them in the dishwasher and they will clean like these bottles are really really durable like i definitely recommend once again every child doesn't take the same bottle but if you're looking for a bottle and you want to try a new brand i definitely recommend these on to the breast pump that i use so i use the spectra breast pump and i actually got it through my insurance if you're unsure if your insurance will actually pay for it i definitely recommend you calling them and asking them like will they cover it for you um i actually found this out i think i found this out online i think i think it may have been a youtube video like i was like what insurance can cover a breast pump breast pumps are expensive okay i think one of them was like 300 and then like the ones that pump your boobs like while you're just like doing anything around the house i think those may be like four to five so if your insurance covers it that will be great but if not it's okay like i think they do have coupons and stuff also just put it on your baby shower registry <laughs> maybe somebody will get it for you I don't know but hopefully they do but I'm gonna show you guys what mine look like I don't actually have it in the box right now because it's downstairs and I cannot find it for some reason but I'm gonna show you guys the box so that you can see at least what it looks like so this is the box and this is what the actual breast pump looks like so when you're breast pumping you actually put like the, it looks like like two straws literally like it's like two straws that go right here and this will connect to the actual bottle that you're going to be pumping your milk into and so you just put it on and then it's actually automatic so it just pumps your boob as you go and i'll actually have a video about how to breastfeed and just tips on breastfeeding i don't know when i'm going to drop it but just stay tuned for that put on your post notification so that you can see the video when i do drop it um, but yeah, I definitely will have a breastfeeding video for breastfeeding moms. It is a lot And if we could just have any tips or tricks on how to do it better I feel like it will be beneficial. So I'm gonna bring that to you guys on to the next thing a diaper bag so This is the diaper bag that I have. I'm not sure It's really a little bit dirty right now. Sorry guys but it's the Fisher Price brand and I also got that off Amazon as well. I'll have the link in the description box and I don't know you guys but if you haven't noticed like everything is pink. I don't know what happened like ever since I knew I was having a girl everything I got literally is in pink. I don't know what it is and for a person that actually hated the color pink this is literally insane. Anyways, I definitely recommend having a diaper bag because you're going to need it on the go. You're going to need to put your bottles in there. If you have formula, put your formula. You're going to need the wipes. You're just going to need all the essentials for your newborn baby because things constantly happen. Sometimes they even have blood. So you need to have like some onesies in there or just things that you know you're going to need for your child while you're out and about. Now I'm going to go on to the next thing, which is just a regular blanket so this is the blanket i have once again it's pink sorry you guys i know y'all are probably like sick of me it has elephants on it which is really really cute for my daughter's theme it was elephants so that's why i got this it's really really cute this blanket is really really soft and convenient for when she's like taking a nap or if you just want to lay her down on the bed and it's just overall just convenient for her to keep her warm so i recommend getting a blanket for your newborn on to the next thing which is the daca tot okay Everybody talks about this item and I'm just going to spill the tea, sis. This is the Daca Tot that I have. I'm very, very thankful that I actually didn't have to pay for it. But it is really, really good, you guys. Okay, first off, 
I'm trying to get like a good angle because this thing is like way it's way bigger than the camera so it's literally like insane trying to fit it in the camera shot sorry in the camera frame this is like super super durable also you can just throw this off and put it in the wash and it's really really convenient i actually would sometimes put this in the bassinet like this and have my baby lay in it um and this is just convenient overall like if you're in the kitchen washing dishes you can throw this on the couch throw it anywhere and just have your daughter or your son literally just in a comfort like they won't get out of that they'll feel so comfortable just feel like it's an essential like you definitely need it like it is a key essential for a newborn like i said once again you can do everything you need to do around the house and have your newborn in the dock side just because they won't move around and it's really really comfortable I also recommend putting like a blanket in there to make them even more cozy just because newborns really do love that like touch feeling like feeling like they're still touching you because they still kind of feel like they're still in the womb so you just want to have them like really really cozy i do want to share with you guys the stroller that i got now i'm actually not going to put a stroller in this frame but i'm actually going to post a picture of the stroller that i have it is called even flow basically the car seat can go into the stroller so it's a three in one i believe yeah i think it's a three in one so you can take it out put it in the car and then that's the car seat or you can take it out and put it on top of like the wheels and stuff and that will be the stroller so it's really convenient definitely on the go like it's one, two, three, like the button snap, click, boom, boom, bada, bang. Okay, so it's really, really convenient. I definitely recommend, once again, I will have that in my description box because that is the stroller that I got. And like I said, once again, it also is the car seat. So it is a three in one. Now, also when it comes to the price side of things, it's very affordable. I do see that people get the Duna. I was thinking about getting the Duna. The only thing about the Duna is, the older they get, it's like not convenient anymore. If you are going to have a car seat for when your child is a newborn up to maybe like nine months and then you're going to get another car seat for when she gets older, like headed to the toddler stage, I do recommend the Duna just because it's very convenient. It literally turns into a stroller. The same car seat turns into a stroller. How can you beat that? doing it y'all did that it's really really expensive though so once again for the moms that's on a budget i do not recommend when it comes to budget cost okay the even flow is very very good i really like it and she can still use it to this day like i said once again she is now a toddler she is one years old and her birthday will be april 11th so she does have her birthday coming up so she's about to be two i know once again i'm so sorry this video is well overdue i do apologize but yes i do recommend that stroller like i said once again i'll have the link in the description box and also i'll post the duna stroller in my description box as well just in case you guys want to see that one as well but once again i said it is expensive but it is really convenient and if you plan on getting two car seats for your child from newborn to toddler stage definitely recommend because it is definitely on the go and good and convenient so a bassinet is needed in the newborn stage now for me i actually hate the fact that i didn't use it more just because my daughter is literally attached like when they say spoiled spoiled like do not i recommend do not sleep with your newborn all the time like sometimes it's good you know you want to actually have that connection with your child but i do not recommend okay like just make sure you have her in her bassinet or if she's sleeping just have her somewhere where you're actually not touching her or holding her so once again i did have the halo bassinet it is really really nice i'll post a picture here of the halo bassinet also i'll have the link in the description box because you can get that off of amazon the halo bassinet is really really nice and like i said once again i did put my daca top in the bassinet because it made it more comfortable just make sure that you guys are actually watching your newborn when they are in the bassinet just because they can roll over and stop breathing or just like anything crazy like the blanket can cover their face just make sure that you're constantly watching them i didn't have a camera monitor but if you can get one of those i do recommend i also have some of those in my description box because i've seen a lot of good ones but i just never got them i recommend getting a camera for wherever your newborn will be located just because you want to keep an eye on them once again also i want to give you guys another feeding item which is the baby brezza sterilizer 
I recommend 100% get the baby Brizza, okay? Because I throw my bottles in the dishwasher and then I put them in the sterilizer and they're done, they're good. We don't have to sit them on the stove and boil them like they did back in the day. And for those of you that know, that's just so inconvenient. Who wants to get a pot out that's big enough for all these bottles and then boil them for a little bit so that they can be sterilized? I actually got that at my baby shower, which I really, really thank my uncle for getting that. But yes, I do recommend the Baby Brezza Sterilizer. It will save you so much time. I cannot stress this enough. It will save you so much time. Nobody wants to clean the bottles and then have to sterilize them themselves. When you can just throw them in the dishwasher and then throw them in the sterilizer. It is 2024. We are trying to get things done and make sure it's convenient for our lives. Because mothers, God... Thank you so much for giving us patience because we have to do literally so much. Last but not least, I do recommend onesies and baby hats just because when they're really, really small, you want to make sure that they're warm. So get you some nice little hats, some nice onesies, something that's really, really comfortable and that they can just lounge around in the house all day because of course they're not going anywhere. You're just literally probably holding them all day, but you shouldn't be doing if your mom, you're doing that. Stop it. Yeah, so onesies and hats because their heads definitely are cold and they can like get sick from that. So definitely recommend getting some baby hats. This concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I actually missed anything, I'm going to have it in my Amazon link. So you guys can actually click the link to see anything that I missed. I think that was everything. But yeah, once again, if I did miss something, it will be in my Amazon storefront and the link will be in the description box. If you like this video and you feel like these newborn essentials will work for you, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.